I'm going to talk about the normal distribution. When you collect a lot of data, what you would like, if it's numerical, is for the data to spread out something like this, in this sort of a curve. And, and when we're comparing populations, we want to make sure that each of the sample sets are they look something like this. But what does this mean? Well, you might have actually heard of this as a, a bell curve. And what that means is, well, I guess it looks like a bell, a, a sad little bell, really upside down, but uh, maybe a clump of dirt curve. But I think bell is sort of maybe a sexier name, so they used bell. And uh, it's an upside down bell. I guess bells are upside down. And uh, so that's what data is supposed to look like. In this case, we're looking at IQ scores, okay? So here's IQ, intelligence quotient. And I've got an axis, uh, the, the, the Y axis here, the vertical axis. And 1M means 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million. And so right around up here, we see, let me just get a different color we see right up here, we've got about 3 million people scored 100. Okay, that's my attempt at a straight line, sorry. There we go. And so, okay, so 3 million people scored 100. And then we can see rel fewer people have scored lower scores. So if we look here, we have you know, about 2 million people scored 85, and about 2 million people scored 115. Okay, and if we go down here, well, we've got about well, 500,000 people scored 70, and that same number of people, 500,000, scored 130. So what does this all mean? Okay, well, first of all, this 100 is a mean. So the mean equals 100. And that's for all IQ tests, oddly enough. Normal, that's what we call normal, is 100. Now, here, from here to here is one standard deviation. Okay, and then there's another one from here to here. What does that mean? Well, it means 34% of the population fall within this point here, okay? And another 34% fall in here. So we can expect that 34 plus 35, well, that's 68% of the population have a score that is between 85 and 115. So if you score in there in your IQ test, you're similar to 68% of the population. All right, let's go a little further here. This turns out to be another standard deviation, one standard deviation, and another one here. Okay. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, the standard deviation here is equal to 15, okay? Now it turns out that if you shade this region here, that represents, I'll just put it outside here, 14% of the population. And if you look at it, it's a smaller space than this, so that makes some sense. And this also represents 14% down here. Okay, so if you add it all up, I have 68% plus, well, 14 plus 14 is 28. You add that all up, and that's 96%. Okay, 96% of the population. That means all the people from here all the way over to here and all this shaded region in here that's 96 have a score from 70 to 130 okay so 
if you score, say, in here, that's you're in the top 14%, well, close to the top 14%. There's a little bit of a percentage in here. There's a small percent. Anyway, so we can say that 96% of the population has a score, an IQ score, from 70 to 130. I'm trying to remember. My dad did a, an IQ test on me. He used to do that kind of thing. Uh, it was his job, not just a hobby. And uh, I think I was either like 128 when I was 16 or maybe 132. I'm thinking 128. I'm not sure. Uh, so, you know, I'm all right. <laughs> um, but of course, I've got much smarter now. I'm way out here. So. Uh, so that's the normal distribution. It's a distribution of scores for the whole population. And it could be IQ. Uh, it could be a number of things. We could look at average height. I'm sure that would also spread a certain thing. You know, most people, for example, males would be five, five feet ten. I'm only five foot eight, so but five foot ten would be the population here, and then down here would be a certain range, and then down here would be a certain range. And we want to know what that range is. That's really important when we're comparing means. So that's the normal distribution. 